On Monday, November 6, Kentucky Transportation Cabinet District 12 began their pavement project for Kentucky 197 on Elkhorn Creek. The highly anticipated project is scheduled for completion in two weeks' time, weather permitting. Hours of operation will be from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. This project here is kind of, I know a lot of people have been asking about it. You know, a lot of people travel that uh, road. So it's one that we're really glad to, to get started, especially um, in this uh, season's uh, paving work. So uh, the project is going to take about two weeks, and that's weather permitting. Um, crews will work out there from about 7 o'clock to 6 o'clock um, each evening. So 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. each evening. And while that's going on, you can expect uh, one lane traffic and delays through there. You want to save money and Appalachian Wireless gets that. Right now you can get up to $650 off select devices, including the latest and the greatest on the Advantage Unlimited plan with a trade-in. Did y'all hear me? Up to $650 off select devices, including the latest and greatest with a trade-in. Now I'm not a math whiz, but this deal, it's amazing. And you'll be on the region's premier network. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. See AppalachianWireless.com for complete terms and conditions. The cabinet says this project will be good for the community. During the paving, motorists can expect some delays and single lane traffic in the area. So uh, the project actually got started today. They began doing some milling work. They began uh, working on milling up the old asphalt um, in order to be able to lay down new asphalt. So uh, they're out there currently working. Uh, and then once they get all that milled up, it's the same process as you know it usually is. We'll mill up the old and then lay down new and fresh. And then they'll come back and they'll paint striping and all that stuff on it. So uh, it got kicked off this week. Uh, work's expected to last for two, two more weeks. Um, and it's just gonna be a good project and a good one for that community. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.